Winter weather calls for winter projects, and this fun little 1920s hat was a great transitional knit as the weather starts to cool down. I bought the yarn from the Ottawa Spinners and Weavers Guild sale. Around the same time, I also picked up an antique knitting manual from Ogilvy's, which was a Canadian department store chain that was open until the 1990s. Finding vintage Canadian knitting manuals is rare, so I had to rescue it and knit a project from it. The result was a gorgeous ski cap from the 1926 booklet. I don't have a swift yet, so all of my winding is done by tensioning the yarn around my knees and turning it into a ball by hand. I decided to use the long tail cast on method because I think it leaves a nice finish on the finished item. After the ribbing, the pattern says to knit the body for 10 inches. My yarn was slightly bigger than the recommended size, so 7 inches ended up working fine for me. Once you have your body knit to your desired length, the decrease rows happen rather fast. Once those are done, I took a tapestry needle to draw in the final stitches. I used the remainder of the thread to sew up the side of the hat. If you're interested in knitting this hat for yourself, I have the pattern out for free on my coffee page, as well as a PDF copy of the entire knitting manual in my shop. I'm sorry.